Good morning, guys! I'm gonna start today by talking about Pastor Kibuloy. Yeah. <laughs> so, <clears throat> many of you might have heard he has mentioned me quite a few times in many of his sermons. And um, I feel very blessed every time he does that. And, syempre, nakita niyo naman din yung prayer ko sa kanya. And, siguro na postpone pa yon At hindi pa niya maisasagot ngayon dahil marami pa siyang ibang hinaharap na mga problema. And speaking of problema, gusto ko lang kasing klaruhin sa mga tao na hindi nakakaintindi bakit ko sinusuportahan si Pastor Kibuloy. It's not that I'm a part of his church. Hindi po ganyan. I'm a Catholic. I will never denounce me being a Catholic to move to another religion or belief. Ang sa akin lang naman kasi, if you really look at the onset of the cases na ipinupukol sa kanya, yung paninira na ipinupukol sa kanya, ano ba ang basis dyan? ba diba? Ano ang basis Kailan ba nagsimula yan? ba? Diba? Laging may rason kung bakit sinisiraan ang isang tao. Dalawa lang yan. It's either sinisiraan siya because gustong maging siya or sinisiraan siya dahil may something sa kanya na hindi nila makuha-kuha. Being close to the president has its perks and has its downside. Pastor Kibuloy is currently feeling the downside. Okay. Unang mga kaso sa kanya was related to money. Hindi po ba? Na-dismiss yun lahat sa Hawaii. Ngayon naman, um, sex trafficking sa mga young daw na mga bata. Pero bakit sa US ito final? Kung titingnan lang naman natin ang rason kung bakit may mga tao na gustong sirain ang KJC, KJC, Makikita mo na lang din kung gano'n din sila ka-strong sa pananampalataya nila kay Pastor Kibuloy. And that's why I believe in him. Hindi dahil kulto, hindi dahil sasabihin natin na, o oh, dahil gusto niya ako, o sinasabi niya na gusto niya ako. No, no, no. But when you listen to Pastor Kibuloy talk to his people, you will realize that there is wisdom in what he says. And if you really listen... With an open mind, you understand um, his struggle and you appreciate struggle, you will realize that he has built more than the biggest dome in Mindanao or even in the universe. Malalaman mo at makikita mo na hindi lang naman si isang tao yan. A person cannot be that one person which is great without followers or without people that believe in that certain person. That's one thing he and President Duterte have. Supporters na para sa akin, hindi naman blind ang suporta nila. It comes from a place of truth sa kanila. Magkaikaiba tayo ng truth. I believe in President Duterte for a specific reason. Just the same way that I believe in Ma'am Sarah for a specific reason. And the same way kay Pastor Kibuloy. Ang point lang naman dyan kasi is that I can relate to that because may mga tao din naman na kahit sa akin na no, overwhelm ako. Ba't kayo naniniwala sa akin? Hindi naman dahil naniniwala kayo na totoo ang sinasabi ko but because you relate to it. Hindi po ba? And to me, that's what happens when I listen to Pastor Kibuloy. That's what happens kung bakit I pray for him. I pray for him because I believe that lahat ng nangyayari sa kanya ngayon are attacks that are deliberate and that they they are being done because may mga nagagalit sa kanya, may mga nagagalit sa presidente at dinadaan sa kanya which is nangyari na rin sa akin yan and dahil election season naman ngayon. So marami talagang mangyayaring siraan maraming mangyayaring mga bagay na gagawan-gawan ka ng istorya. I've been a victim of that. Para na lang kaya si Pastor Kibuloy na from the start pa talaga of President Duterte Being president. ba? Diba? So sa akin lang, I want to make this video dahil alam ko naman na may kagagawa ng CPP, NPA, NDF sa kagaguhan na ito na ginagawa kay Pastor Kibuloy. Pangalawa, wag po tayong magpalinlang sa mga taong na islamang manira ng bansang ito. At pangatlo, kung totoo man na hindi dapat pinakikinggan si Pastor Kibuloy, then what will you say to the millions who listen to him? who have been touched by His Word, by the grace that He gives them. Kanya-kanya yan. We all have our ways to connect with people. But if you are a bad person, that connection will never 
bear fruit, bear good fruit. And I hope that we realize that our words have power. And in this case, Pastor Kibuloy's words have power. Hmm? Good morning. Mwah. Ingat.